good ideas. It's not new and it's not complicated. It's just right and it's powerful. We need to put mental well-being right at the heart of everything we do. It's not a soft option, caring about happiness and well-being. It's actually the only option. Happiness is not only money. It is the relationships and the family life which is much more important. Happiness is about the sum total of the good and the bad. Your sense of belonging, your connection and community with your family, your friends. And a life that includes a sense of balance. Less stress, no stress, and just be happy within yourself. The community makes me happy because I get to meet everybody. This is one of, the, one of the fantastic things about Action for Happiness. We're actually applying some of the science locally. We're trying this stuff out and seeing what happens. Yes. Yeah. There's a paradox at the heart of our modern society. We're richer than we've ever been before, with a level of material wealth that previous generations could only have dreamed of. But we're no happier now than we were 50 years ago. In fact, over that time, we've seen an increase in a whole range of wider social problems. Far more young people struggling with depression and anxiety, a society that's much less trusting. We've got much higher levels of inequality and a range of issues in family and community breakdown. So if our pursuit of wealth and of possessions and of material progress isn't making us any happier, then what on earth are we all doing? We all want to be happy and we want the people we love to be happy. And by happiness we mean feeling good about our lives, wanting to go on feeling that way. And of course by unhappiness we mean feeling bad about our lives and wanting things to change. Somehow we've come to believe that economic growth, that growing our incomes, is going to be an intermediary goal towards achieving happiness. Everyone thinks if they have a bit more income, if society's GDP grows, we're going to be happier. And all the evidence suggests that that's not true. We have, in a way, been sold a false promise. And yet in the last 10 or 20 years, we've seen an explosion of new knowledge about how you can make your life happier in your own life, in school, in a business, in a society. And most of that isn't being acted on. It's not being applied. And I think we need an organisation focused on spreading happiness, action for happiness, really to bridge that gap, to make sure that people in their own lives, in their families, in their communities, the places they work, the places they live, are able to use that knowledge to apply it, not to make everyone smile all day every day, but to reduce that enormous amount of unnecessary pain and suffering. Because there are very large numbers of people in our society whose lives are actively unhappy and getting them at least to a life which is tolerable, bearable, okay, is uh, half of it. But the other half is getting uh, everyone from a position of uh, uh, where their lives might be okay to a life which is positively flourishing. And the wonderful thing about the word happiness is it's got an emotional tone to it. And so much of public life has had an emotion stripped out of it. So it opens up a space for people to actually think about the quality of their life in a very different way. Just the main thing for me is being with my family. Definitely, and our friends, obviously. If my little boy is happy, I'm happy. <laughs> really, really kind people. Yeah, health and friends and family, I think. And, I, and, and sort of knowing that they're all right. If you look at the research on what actually makes people happy, you will find that uh, the number one thing is human relationships. Uh, your relationships at home, uh, your relationships at work, and, and your relationships in the community. And the thing I will worry about more than anything, more than business at the end of the day, is how are my people doing? And, and are they feeling happy to come to work? And are they feeling supported uh, in, in, in how they are and how they're feeling as much as how they're doing? We are deeply social creatures. We are happy when the people around us are happy, we are sad when the people around us are sad. So I think one of the messages of this, this, this movement, this organisation, is to encourage people to think about happiness as something which is connected, about being part of a web uh, of life with other people. And often the best thing you can do to be happier is to give some time to someone else, to care for them, to help them solve their problem. And for many people, a key thing which is lacking at the moment is a sense of belonging. What's really empowering about what the research says is it shows that although our genes and our circumstances do have an effect on how happy we are, what's crucial is that our approach to life, our attitude and the conscious choices we make really can make a difference. And that, that matters to all of us. That means that how we choose to approach our lives can affect not only our own happiness, but the happiness of those around us. 
all the evidence shows, there's experimental evidence uh, and uh, comparison between people, shows that when you care more about other people, you actually feel better yourselves. Uh, if you want to feel good, do good. Well, I think giving makes people happy, and we don't fully realise until we do it. Not just about giving money, it's about giving time, giving your expertise, giving your energy, uh, being around other people. Our generosity in life is like hardwired to the reward mechanisms in our brain. And so giving to other people, whether it's financial, whether it's our time, our energy, our generosity, our gratitude, these things are really, really critical for our well-being. Action for Happiness is bringing together people from all walks of life, from all different backgrounds. It's people who not only care and believe that happiness and well-being is important, but people who believe that we can each make a difference not only to our own happiness but to the happiness of others through the conscious choices we make, through the actions that we take in our daily lives. Members will be asked to commit themselves, to aim in their lives at producing more happiness uh, in the world and, and less misery. And we're going to be providing them with information, with ideas, with suggestions and materials of what they can do, what actions they can take to help build a happier society. How do we join together and how do we talk about this in a public way? How do we get people thinking differently? And I think what Mark and some of the other people at Action for Happiness are doing is creating a space for people to start a conversation nationally. I think it's a very, very important part of what we have to date not been able to do. Being a sort of young idealist and uh, having, you know, that kind of, maybe that sort of spirit of uh, wanting to, to change the world, I was struck by Action for Happiness's um, ambitions to do exactly that. Mine's very pleased to be working with Action for Happiness because we think it's really important that we, we spend time as a society thinking about the things that we can do to improve happiness. Because so many of the people with power in our society have never really asked that question not in a rigorous, systematic way, and they're not aware of the knowledge out there which could help them not only make the people whose lives they're influenced happier, but actually probably make them better at getting their business to be profitable, their school to get good results, their hospital to help people recover quickly from sickness. So we're bringing people together, we're providing practical actions and materials, and we're also trying to change the public debate. And all of that is part of moving towards a society that values and prioritises the things that really matter. One of the reasons I'm confident we can build a happier society is that the seeds are already there. We're building on what's strong. We're building on kindness, on optimism, on people's curiosity and sociability for each other. A happier society in some ways is one which is aware of the things it can do at every level, from the design of buildings, to working hours, to public policy, to just how we are to our friends and family. And this is about people not having to uh, rely on the crutches of uh, material possessions and status and artificial stimulants to hide themselves from reality, but people who are actually living uh, true, deep and authentic lives because they have come to terms with who they are. So you've heard a lot about action for happiness. Now, we don't have all the answers, we can't possibly, but what we do have is a vision and passion and we really believe in something better. We would love you to join us, we would love you to come to our website, add your voice, join the movement, be part of Action for Happiness. Together we can make a difference, together we can take action, together we can create a better, happier future. <laughs>